The propaganda. Uh, Parp TV says, Hi, Brad and Chat, despite the awkward moments and Durst being a goober. Wait, what? It's Limb Biscuit. The instrumental goes incredibly hard. It's a reminder why we should be thankful that he embraced the silliness going further. But uh, have you seen the current tour lineup? I have not. <laughs> Eddie Baker. Is it oh my god, wait. Corey Feldman? Corey Feldman's on the lineup? All right, Limp Biscuit, one of the few albums we haven't heard yet, I believe. Uh, yeah, this is The Unquestionable Truth, Part One. So we're listening to this entire thing. It's twenty-nine minutes, seven songs. Pretty short, actually, for a full album. It's like six full songs here. Oh, you see, it's propaganda. The food there is yucky. Can you get me a fork? Oh, yeah. Tell him how to sell it. Yeah. It's propaganda. Think a proper gander. Tell me how to keep my composure. It ain't over till I give me some closure. One in ten, more alive is my profile. Hostile is the frame for my state of grace. Severely a mental disorder. Where reality is highly distorted. Psychosis weak in the mind. Inclined to small doses. As we approach this ever endless quest for a. Pause. Yeah. Rage Against the Machine did it first. While those who expose and pretend this life is just a big bowl of cherries, a bunch of fairies screaming to be scary. That's homophobic. Sell it to the innocent. Oh, yeah, they're buying it. Just show up to rebel again. I'm a maniac, hard one to handle. You better come back and more than a scandal. Fucked over from the times I've been grateful. Fucked over in the times I've been hateful. Made attraction, fuck you in your pussy mouth. Come again, friend, now we got some action. On and on is the name that they gave me. And your misery came here to save me. It's propaganda. Sell it to the innocent. Oh, yeah, they're... What the fuck is Fred Durst doing here, dude? Like, you're the guy that breaks stuff, you know? Not the guy who takes down the establishment. Is this the whole album? This is gonna be fucking lame, dude. It, just show up to rebel again. It's propaganda. Show up to the innocent. Fuck yeah, they're buying it. Just show up to rebel again. Fuck is this? take this over and other results may vary i mean yeah to be fair i mean if, if you compare it to results may vary of course however i feel like there's a better comparison here uh like i said earlier rage against the machines entire three album catalog came out before this sorry three albums not four um and i would rather listen to that a hundred times over this phony crap it's that simple
it's better than what Tom Morello is doing now? I mean, yeah, of course. What, is he working with Steve Aoki or something now? like when Nickelback went uh, political, you know? Here's the thing. This song, there's probably a good two-minute song in here, but uh, they decided to stretch it out to five minutes. This shit is terrible. What the fuck are these guys on right now, dude? Like, what the hell is this? This sucks. Like, this this just sucks, dude. That headphones. I don't know what the hell kind of shit they think they're doing. Um, but this, this is, this is ridiculous. I mean, sure, at first it kind of goes hard, but then it just, like... I mean, wow, that just fell off the face of the planet. I mean, my God. Like, that could not be more corny, could it? Oh, you see, it's propaganda. They're like Rage Against the Machine, minus the ability to protest. That was ass. Like, it all comes down to image. Like, you can't fucking convince me that Limp Biscuit is out there protesting. Like, Jesus Christ. Like, come on, man. This, this shit is insane. The unquestionable truth. Look how terrible this album cover is, dude. Look at the font and the... Oh, it's horrible. No one would ever think this is a Limp Biscuit album, dude. Look at this. No wonder it's a goddamn flop. Who the hell would look at this and say this is Limp Biscuit for sure? Oh yeah, the new Limp Biscuit album. God, the truth. Mildly unlikable, unlikable empire. Ah oh, man, boy oh boy, this is the best song. Well, let's see. Oh my god, it's Tool. Yo, hold on, I want to hear Clifford. It sounds so much like stepping into an image they lack roots in, screaming battle cries they don't understand or stand uh, behind beyond thinking it's cool when Rage Against the Machine did it. Yep, Rage Against the Machine was, um... What made Rage so good is they were, um, a movement first! And music second. And the music just happened to be absolutely fucking incredible. Um, so yeah, that's like, that was their whole thing. It's like, they really meant it, and that's what made the music so great, you know? Like, they gave a shit with every song. It's the Fettuccine sequence, yeah. This is literally a Tool ripoff. Like, what's a Tool song that starts off exactly like this? Like, please. Does anyone know? Like, I swear there's at least one or two that start off exactly like this. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know. Um, the pot, yeah. Who are you 
to wave your finger, you must have been out your hair. I hold deep in my You see what I'm saying? It's identical. Must have been. It's the fucking same. <laughs> it's the same. You must have been. And then yeah. But yeah, now I I feel like the pot is like a perfect example here. Now let, let's go back. Listen. Just get past this intro. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> if you told me it was a tool song, if I would believe you immediately! I'd be like, oh yeah, I know this one. Who's limping their tool right now? <laughs> you can't sleep, you're restless and slightly obsessed with falling too deep. The malfunction, you're a virus whose intention is fucking up something. You're a crater on the face of a problem much greater. It's the violence or lack thereof control. Okay. All right, listen to this. So, this is basically the, the blueprint, right? And this is basically Limp Biscuit. Oh. Get a job, but I can remember dissecting a frog. I wasn't taught how to pay tax, but I know loads about Shakespeare's classics. I was never taught how to vote, they devoted that time to defining isotopes. I wasn't taught how to look after my health, but mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Never spent a lesson on current events. Instead, I studied the old American West. I was never taught what laws there are. I was never taught what laws there are. Let me repeat, I was not taught the laws for the country I live in. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically what we're listening to right now. There you go. That's Limp Biscuit in a nutshell right now with this fucking album. Anyways. Sleep, resurrect the attention. Once you're a bitch and it's now mass-produced. 
Imagine the insults of blessing Imagine accepting the truth Lyrics on this Limp Bizkit album aren't that bad. No, it's not a matter of them not being bad. It's a matter of them being so many degrees worse than contemporaries. Like, this is genuinely... Like, Rage Against the Machine... Like, Zack De La Roca made fucking poems, dude. Like, they were so technical and real and deep and, like, intricate. Like, he really just, like, he... It was a craft to him, you know? He gave it 110% with everything he did. This, to me, is so surface level in comparison, it's actually a joke. I'm not against bands who are less serious, trying to evolve. This feels like uh, all style, no substance. It's trigger words. Yes, exactly. Trigger words and imagery made. Yep, there you go. Bingo. You got it. No, it, that's exactly what it feels like. It feels like he's saying the right things to make you think it's a song about a movement with literally no weight behind it. Like, in this, like, just imagine accepting the truth. Imagine accepting the truth. It's like, even this line. What what does he mean exactly by this? His truth? Imagine accepting their truth? The way he says it, it's actually like an open-ended statement that can mean either or. Imagine accepting the truth. The pendulum swinging. Hypnosis is second control. Not the will of the biscuit? Jesus Christ. Pale imitation that makes it much worse in my mind. It's not awful to listen to sometimes. I mean, yeah, of course, the riffs, the instrumental are solid, but like, like that's the problem. It's just Fred Durst doesn't have it in him to do what he needs to do to make this music work. Darkest regrets, all the things you've done wrong. Rebellious at heart all along. Is your leader a voice? Somehow you replaced all your without a face. Now the payback's a bitch. Why owe your life to a bitch? Absolutely pathetic. And regret it when told you all made a mistake. Imagine that insult's a blessing. Imagine accepting the truth. I was blasting this, my bad. Oh no, Rage Against the Machine were so intricate that they had the opposite problem, where sometimes the message would get lost because it, it was so like woven into like the music that people would just like not understand it. And that's why you get like, you know, people at MAGA rallies like playing uh, the fucking um, Killing in the Name of, like waving a flag. You get videos like that for that reason, you know? But it's like, yeah, so. Wait, that was on key!
Oh yeah, no, the, song, the songs are grimy as all hell. Here's the problem. It, it, for me, it's impossible to really vibe with this album because it is a fundamental failure. It is, at, the, at its core, wrong. At the core of it, it's a mistake. They're, they're, you can't fix the problems that this album has right now. They are, they are woven into it being a political record by somebody who wants to just be Rage Against the Machine and it doesn't have the chops. It's too ambitious. It's way out of their scope. And as a result, it's incredibly awkward and totally joyless. Uh, it's a red headphones. Dog sh There's a reason there's no part two to this unquestionable truth because there is no fucking movement of this album. Where's the statement? Imagine accepting the truth. Imagine accepting the truth. Like, come on, man. The fuck are you... Like, that literally, like, just, can you imagine accepting the truth? It's like, okay. Shut up, Brad. You haven't imagined accepting the truth. <laughs> Amazing. Replace imagine accepting the truth with fuck you, I won't do what you tell me. Well, yeah, that's very obvious. I mean, of course. The song's called The Priest. It could be the absinthe talking. I don't either. I've got to find a new place. A new place to feed. What could it be? Stop everything. Something is not feeling right. This is literally, dude, these, it's literally a rage ripoff. Do you not hear this riff? They are just trying to make a rage song. Like this, oh my god, I'm losing my shit, dude. Like, listen to this. I'm gonna show you a song. Um, it's not the same exact sound, but just listen to how this guitar works in this. Okay. The sun ablaze is mighty as foot touches the surface of sand. I know the land as human contraband. Some leak off of my go past the name of the boss. She stuffed him to a trumpet. She clutches across. Here come the exhaust and it rips through it. See what I'm saying? It's like, it's just the guitar playing this piece of a very noisy but yet stilted instrumental. And then they're doing the same shit here. Do. Oh, born of a broken man. Hey, that one's a bit more. I don't know. Got an idea. I think I'll just become a priest. This evening, no one might believe. I'll preach about what life is worth and cover my sins with a church. My demons can run around free. No one will suspect a thing. I'll show them it's okay to lust. A priest is who children can trust. Kind of hard, yeah. This one's actually all right. I don't know, man. It's kind of win me over. It has a message, yeah. Like, here's the thing not only does it have a message, but it's very direct with it, so it, it's it's very hard to misinterpret what this song is going for, and I, and I feel like that actually helps it a lot. Let's go bowling setup.
incredibly awkward. Oh, I like where it started, you know? more grounded yeah <laughs> it definitely yeah before that little rant uh, yeah sure i can see your your point oh my god there's still a minute left is it just stomping why we don't need this i don't need your goddamn imperial march right now you know what i mean like let's give it it's part of the album I don't know, man. I mean, I don't think the problem's him inserting himself or his own personal feelings into this. I think that it actually works. Usually in concept. But it's just really... Check. Check. Yo, yeah. check. Mic check, one, two. Yo. I bet someone else does the mic checks for him. He doesn't even have to do that shit anymore. Anyways, uh, that song was a slight improvement until it went full, uh, disturbed, and then, you know. Do it again! Yes, do it again! I'll be again! Boy! I'll be again! Boy! I promise! Do it again! Daddy! Wow, I'm so smart! Doing a low shrug. <sighs> the key. Shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck up. Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? That's the question. The question at hand. Oh man, fuck this. Fuck this. You know, I lost my place a long time ago. About 50 fucking rounds ago. Talking about drugs. So that's actually kind of interesting, but still kind of shit. I don't want to hear Frederick go. Shut the fuck up, fucking cock, fuck shit. Let's go. Like, come on, man. Ugh. The channel. It's not Tourette's, it's 
what I like to call uh, the lack of a better word. You know, running to the word fuck. But that was perfect. I don't like the radio. I don't like TV. The sound is so much shit these shit. days, and the shit is DJ Kelly. I don't like officials using oh rank to pretend they're not crooks. So I don't like the tricks played on kids oh. in those shitty team metal books. I don't like my heroes. To kill themselves with the drugs I don't think success Can fill you up when you need love I don't like the whores That try to fuck you for your game <sighs> I don't like my childhood And do not need somebody else to blame Thank you, Ethan. This is the channel. Come down in two. And I already know you. We have the news by Paramore at home. I already know you. Come down in two. Is it the same key? I think so. Turn on, turn off the news. So bad, they're just trying to be rage on me. Like, you didn't promote this at all because this is unmarketable. Oh, yeah, that echo. You're right, that echo is insane. That song. Oh my god, that song sucked ass. Oh my god, that song was ass. Chocolate Starfish! Never thought I'd say this, but I miss Chocolate Starfish, dude. Oh my god. Next song, The Story. They weren't ready for this side of Limp Biscuit. I mean, yeah, you want me to say the sound is heavy, you know? That's all you can give this album right now. 
Okay. Why there's no part two? White kids who ain't white anymore. Huh? Lipsters that can't limp anymore, dude. It's the Hollywood story. Oh my god. Who can't fight her anymore? Dude, like... What the fuck is this? No, like, trust me. Their sound is back. They've found inspiration to make heavy music once again. It sounds a million times better than the previous album. But, oh my god... This is insanely bad. Like, on an on an insane level of bad. Dog. Hey, thank you, Bucky, for being here. Oh my God, the surrender. Final song. Is this a ballad? Why are the lyrics so uninspired? Because there's a lot of competition here. Yeah. 
Oh my god. on a bike. Yeah. This 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 album is terrible. I'm feeling a one plus. It's so embarrassing. Like, god damn, man. I mean, it's like it has everything right, except for the most important part. It's a it's a political album with no message. With just random anger thrown left and right. Oh my god. Oh no, it's very inspired. It's just... Holy shit, what a mess. Oh my god. What do I even say, dude? I mean, that, that last song was horrible, dude. Limp against the machine. I'm stealing this. Thanks for bearing through. Oh, of course, Parp. I, I appreciate this. No, I, I, thank you for continuing on this saga of Limp Bizkit. I very much appreciate this. Uh, smiley ball for Parp. Yeah, I'm just stealing Space Ash's review and calling it my own. <laughs> 